My name is Rabbi Daniel Bogard. I'm a rabbi at Central Reform Congregation, uh, one of the largest Jewish communities here in the state of Missouri. And I'm here because I have a trans kid. Because the first thing you learn when you love a trans kid in the state of Missouri is that you have to protect them from their government. Jews have a long history of looking at gender very differently than many of our Christian neighbors do. As we heard from the bill sponsor who testified herself that this bill is inspired by her very specific Christian faith. Jews look at this differently. 2,000 years ago, we have texts about there being six, seven, eight different genders. We have traditions that suggest that Abraham and Sarah were intersex, that the very first human beings were created not as Adam and Eve, but as Adam and Eve, as one combined intersex being. In the 1930s, and what we've now come to call the Nazi Olympics. It turns out that a whole bunch of athletes were going off and competing in these games, in the women's games, and coming back as men. There was an uproar in the American press, but I don't know about you, I had never heard about this because we don't teach the history of queer people. In fact, we only know this story because an old Jewish man in Brooklyn wrote in in the 1930s in a letter to the editor in Yiddish telling a story about a Jew who transitioned in the 1800s in Ukraine in the shtetl and was accepted and embraced and married off to Rachel and, and was treated like a human being. Please finish your thought. If we don't teach queer history, if we don't teach that there have always been trans people, then every time in every generation it seems new and scary and we are setting our kids up for narrow bigoted, tiny, tiny lives, and not giving them the education that every Missouri child deserves. Thank you. Any question for this witness? Seeing none, thank you for your testimony. There's six sexes, genders in the town, but with many mentions. Let's get into what they are. There's the Keva and Zakhar, the two you hear as female and male Draginos for an intersex person with both female and male sex characteristics Tum Tum a person with obscured or unclear sexual characteristics he will need someone assigned female at birth but who expresses male characteristics later in life Sorry, someone assigned male at birth but develops female characteristics later in life and or has their sexual organs removed Saris and Eloni often are described as infertile And while life has lots of rules, don't let binaries be a hurdle To loving yourself seem reminiscent of Bacchanal over New York City's weekend with two pride events. They danced naked in front of children, held signs that said we were crude, carried inflatable sex organs, and actually chanted, we're here, we're queer, we're coming for your children. Do you remember when the conservative right said that the LGBTQIA plus mob was coming for our children? And do you remember when the left responded, it wasn't true, it was a conspiracy theory? One thing remains clear, it's not about equality, it's not about tolerance, it's not about acceptance anymore, now it's about participation. And we can participate in one of two ways. We leave our children in, into pseudoscience, into fetishism, into sexualization, or we take them out. And we remain fast to our morals and our choices as parents who know what's best for our children. Because when people tell you who they are and what they're doing, believe them. <laughs> 